Back to sort of uh, players you manage in you know, big moments, 2014, Matty Prittis wins a Brownlow. Um, what's that moment like? That you? is, that was probably one of the best moments as an agent um, you could ever have because he's missed what, three or four drafts from memory. I remember the family telling me to give it up, you know, and I just loved him as we all love Matty Prittis and why wouldn't you, you know, John Citizen and, you know, if you had a daughter, you would actually let him. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, He'd be one up there. He, yeah. he was, um, you know, and we just – and every year I just watch him and I go, what is it? You know, and I remember uh, ringing James Fantasia from the Crows and um, I said, mate, can you do us a favour? I want John Griffin and I need John Griffin and Pritter. Can you get, give him some train on and, you know, and see how we go with them? So both the boys flew over. Uh, back then it was a lot easier to get players to train on. Anyway, um, Neil Cray was the coach then and he was a hard, he was a hard man, Neil, um, from outside looking in. Anyway, I watched them train for a week. And um, I, went, I went up to Craig at the end of it and I said, how are you going? Didn't really want to talk to managers anyway back then. And so John Griffin, yeah, not bad, not bad. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. I think he, there might be something there. And he, and he got rookie to, yep. to Adelaide. What about Matty Prittis? Oh, I don't think Matty's going to play footy, mate, in the AFL. Shit, okay, all right, no worries. And anyway, I think at the end, cutting a long story short, I think Woody picked out that he was probably a little bit solid, too big with a life-saving. Let's cut his weight back. And he started to move a lot quicker you know, across the ground. And then... Um, during the year, I don't know if anyone or that has told you this, you sort of, as an agent, um, when you've got a player that's possibly going to win the Brownlow, you get these forms from the AFL merchandise saying, you have players the chance to win the Brownlow. Really? And I went, shit, okay, well, is that a good year? Anyway, so I rang the other managers to find out who else had the forms. <laughs> 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 anyway, they've told me who they've got and we're going, fuck, I think Matty's had a better year than all these guys. So anyway, so I rang Matty up and we've gone to a coffee shop in Subi. I said, Matty, I've got a funny feeling you're going to win the Brownlow. <laughs> he goes, what the fuck are you talking about, Cole? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's like, don't you be talking like, you know, you know he's like. Yeah, he's just the most so, modest man like, in the history know. of the world. Yeah, and he goes, that's fucking not up. I go, well, mate, I'm telling you, I've done it. I reckon you're going to win it. So... The story is funny is because obviously on the night uh, before I was walking up the, the red carpet and Damien Barrett goes, oh, what are you doing, Cole? I said, oh, I'll come and see my player win the Brownlow. And he goes, oh, who's that? And he goes, Matty Prittis. I said, Matty Prittis? He goes, Matty Prittis? Yeah. I said, okay, well, I think he's going to win the Brownlow. Anyway, um, spoke to Nizzy, spoke to Ross. Ross they're going, oh, calm down. He's not going to – they don't know anything. So I thought they might have known, but they said they didn't know. Anyway, when his name got called out, oh, I was just in tears and um, – um, I think I walked past Neil Cray and said something like, can't play. I can't remember. I walked past someone and said, <laughs> can't play. I can't, I can't remember what it was. But I went over the table with Nizzy and, and Gl- Gl- Roscoe and his name got cut out. You know, it was like, oh, you know, just the greatest bloke in the world, deserves it. But he, funny, talking about afterwards, he, um, or no, his, his missus, she said that um, after he had that meeting with you, Cole, he came home and he actually went through the games. <laughs> really? Yeah, so he thought, fuck, I might be a chance here. So that was one of the greatest moments. Apart from your players winning premiership cups, you know, that's what they all play for. That's what I want to be a part of. You know, when Matty Spanger won his premiership with Hawthorne after three clubs, it was 53 games, and then seeing the picture with him and his family holding up the cup, you know, you do get emotional because you've gone through 10 years of, you know, not getting paid enough and living in a crappy place in Sydney and mm. going through some hard times with him. Um, they're, they're more so hard times than you, but then to see them win the cup, West Coast win the flag, you know, Fremantle get close with Chris Conley prelim. We actually thought West Coast and Fremantle might make it that year. Yeah. So to have that would have been just unbelievable to see the two Western Australian teams. So it's that premiership, that moment there. But Pritt is one of my, you know, the all-time favourites and that's one of my greatest oh, memories of all time. 